Welcome, ladies and ladyboys. Skyrim Day. I guess, kinda. I thought was it I thought it was Oblivion mod this was based on. Was it a Skyrim mod? One or the other. What's the difference? Please help us avoid spoilers. This game is full of please give your audience a spoiler warning for sharing content. Spoilers in this video for a game from two years ago, which if you haven't played yet, you probably won't, but hey, spoilers. Hold on. There. Now there's spoiler warning. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't think we'll finish this in one night, so you still have time. New game! This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Your spoilers continue what we'll be doing. This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards for oh, thoughtful conversation and exploration. Something about also using brute force, probably. Present day. Oh, we're getting the abduction start. Are you my girlfriend? Hey, you're alive. No, you're a stranger. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Select your body type. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm probably that. And I'm Wham. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea. That's some weird, weird facial expression she's What's got going on. Remember? Also, is the audio working? Because this is apparently another one of those games that. Yeah, OBS is doing this weird thing where all the sound bars and all the controls freeze while the game is running, so I don't know if it's working. Chat, say something if the, if the audio is working. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I barely remember anything, lady. Sorry. Here, oh, this has meaning. The recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Uh. You have a military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. Yeah, I was probably searching for some ancient ruins. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. I, I just got pulled out of a river, lady. He hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, lady's got a boat. I have some questions, oh, though. of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Uh, and just in case. Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. Wait. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. So wait, she's pulled two people out of the river. One of them went into the ruins, and now she pulled another one and sent me into the river. What if she finds a third? Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. You don't sound Italian. Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? 
You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Where's the Tigris River? Google Maps. Tigris. No, wait. What am I talking about? No, 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 no. What river? Okay. I already lost my track of thought. Wait, what? Repeat. What am I? An idiot? What am I? An idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never... You really don't remember? Fiber, not Tigris. Bleh. I don't know. I've been thinking about other places. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure there's like... There's a grill over there. What freaking part of the Tiber River are we on where we don't have food? There's like a... There's a highway running along the river. This lady is full of shit. Okay. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? I mean, not really, but Thank I guess you. I have to to progress the, the game. Is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. A light. We can clack. Okay. Oh, is that a stealth meter? I never got your name, lady. Oh, she's been doing barbecue! He's... Oh, that it... Whoa. What is that frame rate doing? The ruins are just beyond those columns. I know, Please lady. I'm just trying to... Hurry. I'm gonna drop the mouse sensitivity a bit. Third person coming down the river or a rock? Oh, there's a, like a porch here. Must have been lit by Al. Okay, so. Neat. Oh, is that laminar flow? Looks like laminar flow. Neat. I don't think the light does much for us here. It's one of those interesting games. I appreciate them doing this. Uh, Sidestepping is slower movement than regular movement. I appreciate that sort of thing. It makes the movement feel more meaningful. Backpack full of hiking clothes, empty food packets. Nothing valuable here. Wait, hold on. Is there something that we can find on it? I guess not. A note! If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads... You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? The people have survived down there, against the odds. It seems... There's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Al was worthy. 
Whoa. Good thing I didn't stand on it. That seems dangerous. Whee! Yeah, that seems very dangerous. Probably shouldn't jump in there. You don't know what awaits underneath. Can I make this go fully around? Or is it going to refuse to... Oh, it's got a, like, a blocker down there to prevent it from going... Oh, dear. I appear to have slipped and fallen. Into a... Sewer? Question mark? Well, we're in here. I think the flashlight's waterproof. Always remember, they are watching. Are the spoilers why you're running so fast? Am I running fast? I'm just looking around. Shiny. 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 I haven't played this before, but I'm gonna hazard a guess. These are people, like, turned into gold, like Midas Touch style against their will. They have that kind of pose about them. Yeah, this one's going, ah, shit, don't poke me with that thing, Midas. That's not cool. Oh. Young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. Can I inspect the other ones? No. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ah. As the great band Raptor would have said, we call that fascism. That's not actually how fascism works. Roman gladiator mid stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? Strong springum springums in these doors. Someone whispered at me. Was I supposed to find someone to talk to? Wait. with the grumpy face. I don't know why I'm here. Young woman, it looks like she was begging for her life. Yeah, these people haven't had a good day. Oh, F5 to quick save. Okay. Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from this pot of dirt. Can I take damage from this? No, I cannot. Roman legionary in a state of terror.
It's like Pompeii, but it's like fancy and shiny. Ooh, aqueducts. You get a sanitation bonus and some extra food for those. Your city can't grow beyond level 10 without him. Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Is that Al? Golden statue of old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Oh. What the fuck kind of outfit is that, buddy? Hey. Nice beard, though. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Let's go to the portal. Young Roman woman in a state of panic. Can you hear me? I mean, not really, but I see the subtitles. Very quiet. So close, nice. This is a sex thing. God damn it. A Roman man on... How do I know it's a Roman man, though? Wait, I can... Well, that feels kind of mean. Sorry, buddy. Wait, does this game have, like, the... rap mechanics? No. Skellington. Remains of a human. Died long, long ago. Maybe it's my bones after a deadly time loop. Al Zippo. Can I take it? No? I have to leave it. Oh. I got too close. Amy Wamey Mumbo Jumbo? Ay ay ay, Coco Jumbo. Figure out how to return to your original time. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Wham and I got lost. Lie! How is that a lie? Uh. Wait, are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. 
Oh. oh, I see what you did there. Changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again. Who are you? And what were you doing in the shrine? Um. Do I have future clothes on? I'm, I'm just going to try to be honest with these folks. I don't think they're going to like it, but... This, this is going to get confusing very quickly. I am Wham, and I've just come from the future! Uh... No idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Thanks, I guess. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So... Let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Well, what are your laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? All right, lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Oh, that's nice. Only 23 of us at the moment. If you Rather than me walking along and having the AI run around trying to sync my movement speed to the AIs, this game has already solved one of the most nagging problems with follow the AI missions. Got the three who are missing. No, Auto walk. Now, since Nobody knows a way out, but it's just nice. big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the Magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be Magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't drink. Politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... uh... it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The blood <laughs> shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So, don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. That seems like a wonderful place. My name's Horatio. Ave. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Or Salve. I'm not sure which one's more appropriate. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? More often than you think. Alright, lead the way. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. 
He's up these stairs. Right. So, don't fuck it up. Hello, sir. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? You may call me Wham. A curious name. To match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. It's, it's quite nice, sir. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Can't say that I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one from what we can gather breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of medusa and midas combined turning us all to gold we've come to call it the golden rule it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. Cease with now such it seems negativity. That day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. What counts as a sin? Let's let's lay down the groundworks. An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. That makes sense to me. I'm glad you agree. The key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. What did you mean when you said Proserpina sent me? You see, 
In my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. I'm the chosen one again. You belong in our time, do you? You are correct. I'm from roughly 2,000 years into the future from where you're from. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? We're gonna go the route of brutal honesty here, I think. You have all, you had all been turned into golden statues. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How does your little ritual then work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I saw human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I can't really promise you anything. I'm kind of new to all of this. Well. Thank you for your candor, I suppose. I mean, I'm not that keen on returning to my own time. This place doesn't seem so bad. That's all the questions I had for now. I need to kind of just settle in a little bit, okay? Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? It does not seem like I have much of a choice if I want to live, actually. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. That is a good point. Consider me involved. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them, if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. As you wish. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. It seems like something's not right. We'll see what I can do. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Inventory. I'm going to start snooping around right here. Scintilla to Sentius. May Jupiter Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. Promise I will wear it. Promise we will wear it always. I feel so safe and pushed to have you at my side. As my father and Senti as my sister, I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month. But if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you will be re-elected. There are no further patients. Cat, what are you doing? Please don't break the wall. It's expensive. Apple.
And before anybody asks, yes, the cats have already been fed tonight. Started streaming so late that I thought I'd... I don't know, lady. Actually, I do know. I was pulled up... Oh, that's... That's creepy. That's... Mm, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's a thing. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Okay. Do all the statues do that? Andy shot. Grass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror, applying, used for applying makeup. A lady person's room. I'm not gonna steal. I yeah, I see where this this game could fall apart with one accidental push of a button. As you wish. So grumpy. Why do you oh, have something to hide? One fresh out of the baths, I take it. Oh, I wish Horatius oh. would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Well, I don't want to talk to you if you're going to be a bitch. Bye. I trust you can see yourself out. Jesus. He'd probably crucify Jesus if if you had the opportunity. So let's let's not mention him. That's just gonna call for more trouble. Ave, Ave. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What now? What can you tell me about yourself? I'm a legionary of the First Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the Magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the Magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets. Shouting fire. People were screaming. Trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But, I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centella's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Sure. That. Of course. Yep, okay. All right. Aurelia, commoner. Claudia, patrician. Desius, commoner. Domitus, Duilius, Aquitia, Fabia, Galerius, Georgius, 
Hannibal, Horatius, Cara, Julia, Olivia, Lucretia, Maleolus, Naivia, Octavia, Rufius, Sentia, Centilla, Sentius, Ulcius, Virgil. I'm not listed here yet, apparently. Lazy. Hey, Horatius. How does it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Why do I get the feeling you lot had something to do with Santilla's disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the golden rule is gonna protect you. Got it? Ha! <laughs> As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Well, you seem to be getting along just fine. Ooh. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? I I saw a mystery door. I wasn't, but I am now. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Well, why shouldn't I? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything round here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the sisters looking for junk you could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the sisters are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, right. a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by. And he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. We got zombies! That does sound very implausible, though. I know what I saw, all right? But if you reckon you're more fearless than a gladiator, don't let me stop you going down there. Just see what happens. That was a great story, but I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. I mean, I can always come back if I see danger, right? I am a curious soul. I do hope the doors don't lock behind me or something. Let's quick save. Also, just just for the sake of sanity, I'm going to remove the text scroller now. It's, it's done its job. If you're still here and you're still afraid of spoilers, why? Oh. Okay, he wasn't wrong. Healed statue. Right. Okay. Healed stat. I didn't get a good look, but okay, fair enough. What were you two talking about? What? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man I was about to tell you that you have confirmed your story. Your Fair favorite? enough. Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? He wasn't trying to buy my vote. What? You're throwing your lot in with him for free, then? That's even worse. Mark my words. Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has-been... That you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory. You'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I wasn't thinking of interfering in this election, but now I am. Oh, you just made a big mistake. Maliolus is going to hear all about this. And he'll make you suffer the tortures of Tartarus while you're still alive. I'm making friends. I'm really good at that. Good luck with that. Stirkum Adite. I don't know what that means, but okay. 
What a little... Everybody is kind of dicks down here. Romans, eh? I believe I've intruded in someone's house, but I've been given permission, so I can just snoop about. Note to Octavia. Anonymous friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing with you about you in person, but if I'm right, you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need someone to pray, there's a special place waiting for you, deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right, and then left. Ugh. Yeah, I thought so. We lost audio for a second there. Uh, can you hear me? I mean, yes. Yeah, that is supremely creepy, I admit. Well, that makes me wonder if the statues could be a source of information. Ink jar. Drawings. Snoop, snoop, snoop. Anybody home? Doesn't seem to be. Sculpture of Minerva, Roman goddess of strategy. I like this idea of having little landscapes painted on your walls. We should bring that back from the Roman times. That's a cool idea for decoration. Okay. So... Gladiatorus Maximus is a dick. I have a name for him. Aurelia claims to know a way out. Tavern and slum. Maliolus. Beauty. Money lending. Notes. Not to be trusted. Notes, Rufius, increasingly agitated. I'm guessing this guy is Ulpius. You're Ulpius, right? Osinculio mio. Osinculio mio. I'm guessing that means don't bother me. Fine, be that way. Isn't Fear the great is proof temple of majestic. a degenerate mind. Well, that was eerie. Hello. A new face. Are they? And may Vesta watch over you. I am Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? You're very quiet compared to the other characters. What is your story? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct 
where you're from. Yes. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Well, I've been asked to do it. Sorry, I'm kind of... Okay. Well, what should I have done then? What's the proper protocol? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to... That is a very convoluted is. scheme. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. Hey! It'll be a refreshing change. That works for me. Would you explain to me what a Vestal Priestess does? I'm pretty sure I should know this, but... You really don't know. You are from far away, aren't you? You could say that. Well, I am one of the priestesses charged with keeping the sacred flame in Rome's shrine of Vesta burning. I take it you know who Vesta is? Do remind... Oh, I should know. But do remind me. Vesta is the mother goddess of hearth and home, and the guardian of the Roman people. We've been playing board games with Vesta cards in them. I knew it was a Roman god or goddess, but my memory is what it is. So what do you do here in practice? Put simply, I tend to the temples, ensure their sanctity is preserved. Is perverse. And why is that? Why? So that we continue to honor our gods, invite their blessings, and not bring their wrath down upon us, of course. It's vital that we keep them appeased and remain in their good graces. Right. So my options are to ask everyone a way out of here. Well, I'm not looking for that right now. Golden rule, well... I mean, I could ask their opinion, but they're all going to just say, what a wonderful thing. I'm so happy to be here. Let's try it. What do you think about the golden rule? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We ask for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. Or people. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. I do have the time. Sure, go ahead. Wonderful. It goes like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Baucis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine, and the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it except you, who we will grant a wish. So old Baucis and Philemon escape up no. into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. 
Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. Or perhaps it's that the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their test and they don't, don't even have to tell you what the rules are. I agree. I'm pleased to hear it. Let's let's not See piss these people. Soon, <laughs> See you later, alligator. In a while, Rokoda. Garum, fermented fish sauce. I've just seen a little YouTuber make that a while ago. Oh, the cat cat hears bird noises. He's very curious. <laughs> I don't think there's birds in the game. I'm sorry. Oh, there, there's birds. You like this game, don't you? Cat likes the game. Let's see if we can find more birds for you. Oh! Can I jump off this and die? Can I... I don't know. That seems dangerous. Mini birds. She's actually tracking them. She's very curious. I wonder if I'm going the right way. Who's toppled this? I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come out of it. She'll take those. I need a bow. So who are you? It's quite creepy how they look at you. Okay, I think we might want to get in there somehow. It's the first indication of like... Ooh, shinies. Adventure. Within the city. I don't immediately see a way in. Let's see if there's a back door. Red. Two hundred forty-six denarius. I'm, I don't think I need money here. Do I? I don't think so. I don't intend to like settle down here and make a life out of this place. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to just steal everything I can get. To survive, we must all be kind. Corrected to, we must all be wise. Corrected to, we must all be obedient. Finally, corrected, we must all be something. Oh, Sisyphus, how you doing, my man? Having a good time? Doing a good push? Is 
That seems like death. I'm gonna snoop around a bit. Uh, locked. Ooh. A mystery. friend hello Salve, friend I'm Octavia Welcome camera is dragging behind sorry for room. staring at your tits for so Ghastly long thing is it not how are you faring so far I'm feeling all right thank you ah another stoic perhaps we all need something to help us through times like these we've all been where you are now I remember when I first arrived I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions why am I here is there a way out what is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. I want to ask her about being Christian. I missed something. Well, what do you think of the golden rule? Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves, and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Deep questions, lady. I don't know. But I have to pick one. I think we uh, we are... Yeah. People are born with a tendency towards sin. And it takes effort to not commit any sin throughout your life. If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of divine intervention. Fair enough. Are you Christian? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but... Oh. Things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible ah. fire last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were... executions. I see. It was horrible. Your secret is quite safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Huh? Orpheus, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life? Working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulfius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulfius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I don't know why my mouse cursor isn't moving anymore. It's gone. Good luck with that. I'm out of here. I can talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Where's my mouse cursor? Oh, there it is. Olpius, you want you want to have a word about this thing you're about to do? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. I was more like gonna ask you what's up, buddy. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. 
I borrowed money, and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulates Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Sertilla, my love, I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! I... I can't believe he went through with it. Jesus. I... Oh, Lord. We barely knew him. Well, what happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what's happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. No! Huh. Oh, Lord. no. I like your panties, though. 